Hello friend, welcome. It's garage sale season and I love garage sale season a little too much. I spent a lot of money this weekend. Uh, take a look at all this stuff. It's gonna be a bit. I'm gonna do a little haul, show you what I got. None of it's like, bah, amazing, but some of it's pretty cool and most of it's pretty basics. Most of the stuff I'm gonna sell between 15 and probably $25 on eBay. Let's see what I got. You might want to settle in and do something, maybe take some photos if you're a reseller, if you're not, do a load of laundry or some dishes or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be a while. So the first thing, I don't know this brand, but the Made in Italy caught my attention and it's this like mint green, kind of flowy, it has a lining in it. I like this little detail and I looked at the fabric tag and it's 100% silk. This shell part is silk anyway. So I don't know, maybe it's something amazing, <laughs> but I thought it was pretty cool and I like to find things that have natural materials. So silk, linen, wool, cotton, things like that. So this is a Columbia, like a windbreaker jacket and as I'm looking at it now, it is kind of yellowed. So I have this little soaking trick that has worked pretty well for me. So I might try that and see if that works out. If not, one of my children will likely use it because Columbia is a pretty decent brand. Actually, it is falling apart. I don't know if you can see that. But this happens often on things that are like nylon. Basically, it's peeling on the back side of this. But it's hard to tell, yeah. See the how underneath that netting it's peeling? Shoot. Sometimes I just don't pay that much attention to things. I should pay better attention. You'll find that that's a theme. Um, if you're new here, I'm Jen and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I am new to reselling. So I resell on eBay and I have so much fun doing it. But I've only been doing this for about eight mi months, nine months now. And a lot of it is just trial and error for me. This brand is Ava James. And I did look this up because I, I know it doesn't look like it. But I was trying to be really picky because I have two huge piles similar in size to this that I need to get through. I was determined to not ever have a death pile. And yet I do. And if you don't know what a death pile is, it is a pile of stuff that you haven't listed yet, which is not really ideal. You want to have everything listed. Anyway, this is like a sweatshirt dress. It has these ruffled tiers and I don't, I did look up like comps for it, but I don't remember what they were. These I bought for $2 a piece. This is Eddie Bauer. It is a made in Hong Kong wool cardigan sweater and I love the colors on this. So pretty cardigan sweater or not cardigan vintage cardigans or vintage wool sweaters sell really well for me here's another one this one is not eddie bauer it is phil harris design but again it is shetland wool and it's a cardigan and kind of these stripes seem to do well this one is uh shoulder pads so that's fancy i found i think four at one yard sale. They were all $2. This one is also Eddie Bauer. This one is not wool. It is acrylic, but it's made in the USA and vintage. I tend to find a lot of vintage stuff and it seems to sell for me. Let's see if I can find the last one. This one is pasta. The brand is pasta. Okay. Well, I didn't know that was a brand, but here it is pasta and it is vintage and it has like those hearts and then are those snowflakes like red snowflakes I just thought that was really cute and it's kind of cropped looking it's medium this one is just a wool blend but it was made in Hong Kong so two dollars a piece for those not bad this is a Zaya activewear and this is an MLM brand my understanding this is an extra large and it's a white 
which is concerning. <laughs> White is difficult because I almost always end up finding a stain that I didn't find when I was looking at it in the store or the sale or whatever. But it's just like a windbreaker jacket. I did hear the girl was telling her mom at the sale, like, I only wore that one time. So that's hopeful that there's not actually a stain on it. But I bought this for $3. I found like five or six Zaya activewear pieces at a Goodwill a while ago. And they have sold fairly well for me. I have another haul video where I found those. I'll link that up there for you if you want to check that out later. There is no rhyme or reason for this. It is all just kind of uh, thrown into my bag here or into this pile from my car. Most of the time when people say, do you want a bag? I say no, because then I end up with a million plastic bags in my car. This is American Eagle. I like to sell jeans and American Eagle is a brand that sells well for me. These look to be high rise. Maybe they're not, but they're distressed skinny jeans. I hear like, oh, skinny jeans are going out, but I still sell skinny jeans. So that's, that's just my experience. This was 50 cents. Oh, I think there was $3 on those jeans. This is 50 cents and it is a Victoria's Secret pink. You see that there? Um, this does not sell for a lot of money in my experience, maybe $15, but I have had good experience with Victoria's Secret, kind of those t-shirty things, selling fairly quickly. This is a brand called Weekend by Suzanne Betro. And I did look this up because I was unsure and I kind of remember that the comps weren't great, but there was something about it that I was like, I, I think it might work. I think it was that the sell-through rate wasn't great for the overall brand, because there were like five or six pieces of this brand, and this is the only one I got, because the other ones were like kind of blouses, shirts, but this is like a jacket. I just thought it was kind of cool looking the way the zipper pockets were on that. So and it's hooded and it kind of has this like crepe feel. Does that make sense? I don't know, there's like texture to it and it's like a mauve kind of color. I'm just noticing there's a little mark back there. I don't know if I can get that off or not. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna come off pretty easily. These are Lucky Brand. I like selling Lucky Brand. It sells pretty quickly for me, although I don't know that I've had much luck with women's pants. But the tops and men's jeans sell very fast. I unfortunately don't find women's jeans or men's jeans very often. But um, I don't know. These were just nice. And I think she had them priced at like a dollar. This is a Victoria's Secret swimsuit. There's the bottoms. And this is the top. I like selling bras and swimming suits because they're really simple to list, really simple to store. I'll probably sell that for like. 20 to 15 dollars 15 to 20 dollars but I mean I paid a dollar for it so these are Tevas and I'm gonna actually see if they fit my husband first these were a dollar and they're not in super great shape but I might be able to clean them up a little bit but it seems like there was some wear on the end the ends like the the soles aren't cracking but they just kind of have that like, like these are just they're obviously worn but for a dollar I don't know we'll see I'm trying to not buy shoes and yet there's a theme you'll see this is Rachel Zoe Rachel Zoe I've sold a shirt by this brand before and I just thought they were really cute joggers. They're in really good condition. And they're like a olive green <laughs> color. I paid 50 cents for them. I like little kid overalls. These are just Carter's. Oshkosh, vintage Oshkosh are my favorites. But I knew the people at the sale and I specifically asked her if she had any overalls and these are the ones she pulled out. She was having a half off price or a half off sale. So I paid a whole quarter for these. I know that I can sell them for more than a quarter. So, um, but I did think that it was just so sweet with that little bear reading. So cute. She also had this 
gorgeous sweater that was handmade by someone and she said it was never worn in a matching hat oh my goodness so cute so I paid 250 for that set and I don't know how well that will sell I also have a Victoria's Secret like pajama set so this is a long sleeve black I don't know why I pick up black because I have a terrible time photographing it and you see probably it blows everything out even just in my videos so these are like a long pant and it has like a little, little lace detail on it these are a size small so but I just thought it was a really nice set it's really soft and then I don't know this brand but there's something about these that just feel really nice and I figured if they weren't worth anything my children like live in leggings at home so they are pretty cool with like that I don't know marbling almost but they've got like phone pockets on the side and then there's even a zippered pocket on this side so I don't know there was just something about them that feels quality so I'm gonna have to look up that brand and see if it's worth anything to resell I paid 50 cents for this and it is the brand is Medela which is a breast pump brand and so this is a like a thing that hold your breast pump on <laughs> so you can do them hands-free I don't know the value of this exactly but I am a birth and postpartum doula by trade and so I'm kind of drawn to things that are helpful for mamas and especially new mamas so 50 cents these are overalls they are a large size I believe they're like a 22 or a 24 where did I see the size on it? They're a 24 and they're overall shorts, but then they also have Winnie the Pooh on them <laughs> and even on the back pocket, it's embroidered. So I thought that was pretty cute. I have really good luck selling overalls of any kind. I've sold men's overalls, kids overalls, women's overalls like crazy. And so I just, kind of willy-nilly pick up overalls I don't know that that's always ideal but right now that's the way I'm going with it this is the brand spider and from my understanding it's like a snowboarding company like snowboarding gear but this is just a hoodie and it's a boy size hoodie so I don't know if the clothes I picked up a pair of leggings and I went to list them and I actually I'm gonna give them to my kids because there was a tiny flaw and the sell-through rate wasn't that great and even if they did sell they were only selling for like ten dollars so I'm not really sure if how the sweatshirt will do but with kids clothes I also can resell things at my local consignment sale and so I don't mind you know paying I, I don't know what I paid for this like 25 cents or a dollar or something between 25 cents and a dollar you know I can sell this at my consignment sale for like five bucks at the very least and it's a nice I mean it's a nice hoodie and it has a big spider on it what boy wouldn't like that I don't know I love selling scrubs and there was one sale that had a huge giant tote of scrubs and I wanted to look through every single one of them but I was kind of tired at that point but I did find this set and it's Wonderflex which is not a super great brand but this was new with tags and it was a set so I think that that will be helpful scrubs in general sell well for me if they're a large size if they're printed like Disney or like Christmas uh, these are you know neither of those <laughs> they're large size small I also have found figs in the past and scrub figs scrub <laughs> Figs scrubs sell very quickly and for a decent amount of money. These, I will maybe get $20 for the set. Maybe, I'm hoping. These are American Eagle Distressed Shorts. Paid $1.50 for those. These, it says $6, but I had three pair of her jeans and I asked if she would take $5 for each of them, so I did pay $5. So most of these things I probably paid between 25 cents and three dollars but occasionally I did pay five dollars for things that I thought would sell well I have had luck selling Judy blue before and these were in decent condition and look at that 
layer. Wow! With the raw hem, and I think that's a high rise, maybe, hopefully. But I just thought those were really cute. They're really small, but I think that that's okay. This was another pair. This is Can Can, which I've not sold before, but again, check out the flare with the raw hem. This has a button fly and I paid $5. So I'm hoping that I can sell those for like, I don't know. I have no, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, this is Billabong. I sometimes just like listen to YouTubers and I hear brands that, you know, they say do well for them. And this is one of those. So I did think it was cute. It's like a cropped sweatshirt and it kind of has that like tie dye effect on there. And then it does have the branding like logo and I don't know. We'll see. I paid two fifty dollars for it. This is a sports bra. I know I paid a dollar for this and it is brand new with tags. I have, I think we've already talked. Have we covered that? Have we covered the bra, swimsuit, sports bra thing? I like selling them. These are Under Armour. That's the Under Armour symbol. I don't think there's a size tag, which is not ideal, but I did think that these were really cute. And I recently found like five pair of Under Armour running shorts at a thrift store and I lotted them up and sold them all very quickly. So I know I have a couple other pair that I found that I'm just kind of waiting to find like sizes that I can lot them up and sell them. This is the North Face. It's a woman's large and it is just like a, it's not fleece. It's a full zip, like a, like a performance, you know, like a, like Nike would call it dry fit. It has that kind of feel to it. So it's just a gray zip up thing. This pile is getting large beside me. This was another kind of bummer. And I think I got it at the same sale that I got that first Columbia. This is Columbia. I bought, I bought it for $5, which I think is a good deal. You can tell even just by the, um, even just by the label that it's pretty old because it's, I mean, it just has a lot of wear on it, but this is like a heavy duty coat and it's fully lined. It has the zip out liner and it's just really nice. And it was one of those things that I was looking at it going, you know what? Even if I don't end up selling it, one of my kids will wear it. And I bought it and I looked it over and I like made sure the zippers were okay. And I looked it over and I got, I got in the van and there's paint all over the sleeve. I was like, are you kidding me? How did I miss that? So anyway, I thought I looked it over. I have had some luck getting paint out of a coat before. So we'll see. Hopefully I can do it. But like I said, if not, this is definitely something that one of my kids would wear. It's just, I mean, it's heavy. It's a nice coat. Minus the paint. This brand is Duluth Trading Company, and these are like denim black cargo pants. And you can see like there's some staining, like bleach stain and some wear on these, but I've had decent luck with st stuff from Duluth selling well. This is another pair of American Eagle little cutoff shorts. So I don't think I said yet, this was like a neighborhood sale, not far from my house. And I went yesterday with my husband and we hit most of the sales. We were there for probably almost two hours and I probably was at maybe 30 sales. So, I mean, I found a lot of decent things, obviously, but um, I went back today because uh, it's kind of a long story. You wanna hear the story? I found a Berkey water filter and that might not mean anything to you, but I have wanted a Berkey water filter for so long, but they are very expensive. And a lady had one for sale for $75. Well, I didn't have that much cash left by the time I got to her sale. And so I asked her if she would hold it for me and she did so kindly. And so I went back today, bought it from her. And then there were a couple sales that we had missed 
yesterday. So I went to those sales and then I had two of my, my little kids were with me, which is not always ideal, especially when I don't have a bigger kid to be a helper, but they had a much needed break from their little siblings. And anyway, my little kids went with me and then we went to a church yard sale, which I'll show you that stuff when I am finished with this garage sale stuff first. <laughs> huh. It's a lot of stuff. This is 511 Tactical. I have sold this brand before, not for a lot of money, but it has sold for me. Not this style. So we'll see. These are black cargo pants. The, I mean, this waistband is like hardcore. It is legit. I've heard that 511 Tactical is worn by like police officers, things like that. This is another pair of American Eagle distressed jean shorts. This is Lucky Brand. It's a medium and it is uh, like a burnout cardigan. So when I say burnout, my understanding is it's kind of like there's like space in there that is, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but basically it's like taken out like most of this is kind of fuzzy but like there's little spaces in there where it's like not fuzzy <laughs> does that make sense I hope that makes sense so like this gray part is not as fuzzy as like anyway um but it's just like an open cardigan I paid two dollars for this just have some fringe on the bottom the lucky brand sweaters have done fairly well for me this I paid a whole quarter for and it is a Build-A-Bear little ballerina tutu thingamajig. I have like a little pile of Build-A-Bear dress clo clothes, dress up clothes that I am going to lot together and sell hopefully in one big lot. We'll see. I'm kind of experimenting with the whole Build-A-Bear situation because I keep buying Build-A-Bear stuff. And it doesn't sell for me very well. I have had a few things sell, so that's good. This is Tahari, and I hear a lot of people say that they don't like Tahari, but I've sold quite a bit of Tahari. And this is a size large. I paid a dollar. No, it's an extra large. I paid a dollar for it. It is a linen hoodie. And I just think it's so cute. In fact, I might see if it fits me. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep it, because I really like it. I don't usually wear pink, but this is more like a rosy pink it's not quite pink pink do you know what I mean I do think oh no I saw the tag through the shirt and I was like oh man I have a stain already here's another pair of jeans this is Abercrombie and Fitch which I hear is kind of having a little comeback I paid a dollar for these and they're pretty blown out and is it skinny or straight And then these are American Eagle. And I know that, you know, there's old label and new label and I don't remember. What I do like about American Eagle is the name of their jean is usually in the waistband, which is super helpful. These are a size zero, which is pretty small. But I just thought these were kind of cool and like a boot cut. They have kind of like an orangey fade to them. Does that make sense? I hope that's coming through on the screen. I really like selling jeans. Jeans sell for me for the most part. I recently did a video all about some denim that sold and I'll link that up there if you want to watch it. Check it out later. These I bought today and this is Wildlife Fact File. I believe I saw Kayla, the homeschool picker. I like her a lot. She doesn't sell clothes and stuff. Most of the time she sells like hard goods, which would be like electronics and toys and plates and dishes and kitchenware and stuff like anything that's not soft like clothes, I guess. Um, but so that I just like her because she's a homeschooler and I'm a homeschooler. And anyway, I think it was her that she found these and they were worth a lot of money. And I know that I had these when I was younger, like my parents bought them. I was hoping I could find the like copyright on there. 
They're printed in the US. I think it's in Roman numerals. <laughs> I wonder if I can Google MCMXCVI. Definitely had to Google that. It's 1996. <laughs> I could have figured it out, but it just took me a lot less time. Okay, anyway, these are really cool. So they're wildlife fact files. Okay. And in here it has like the picture of the animal and then you open it up and it tells you all these facts about the animals. I remember just like looking through these in high school and just thinking they were so cool. So anyway, there were three of them. I think that's the whole set. So they're like numbered. Card number 64 is the brown rat in case you were curious. Um, card number 16 is a chimpanzee. So there's like groups, so mammals, birds, primitive animals, world habitats, conservation. There were three of these. Okay, these other two are out of order, which might take some figuring out. But we will uh, we'll work through it. We'll see. Um, I'm excited because I thought they were like, you know, like one was part one, part two, part three. But if they are all the same, I'm gonna keep one for my kids because I think they're so cool. I, I like animals and nature and stuff. So maybe I'll just keep one for myself. Anyway, I don't know how much they're worth. I'm hoping they're worth some money, but three bucks for three of them. If not, I have some friends we can give them to once I, you know, put them back in order, which I have some teenagers who might be willing to help me with that. This is the brand Penguin. And it is a wool sweater. It's just kind of basic beige wool sweater for men. <laughs> I bought the complete set of C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia. This is one of my very favorite series and we've read quite a few of them in my family but we don't own them and so now we do because I'm keeping them. Some of them are actually cracked I'm seeing but I think we can tape them together and it'll be okay. I just paid a dollar for that whole set. This brand is Verve. Ver Vervet? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Verve if you're fancy and Vervet if you're not. Uh, this is a jean skirt and it has this button up, top, um, button front and they're distressed. I paid two dollars for it and my daughter is staring at me because she wants to try it on. This brand is J. Crew Denim. I pick up J. Crew probably way more than I should but overalls. These are long kind of straight leg overalls. I paid five dollars for them. So there was a sale that had a whole rack and I mean a whole rack of Matilda Jane stuff and I've not had great luck selling Matilda Jane but it's so cute. I was looking specifically for my daughter but she had it all priced at like eight to fifteen dollars probably which uh my daughter ruins things very quickly because she loves things and she wears them over and over and over and over again. Anyway, I did find this backpack and it was priced at $3. I'm not really sure what it's worth. I was planning to look it up and if it's less than like $15, my daughter, my six year old does actually need a new book backpack. And you know what? Yes, you. Actually, I'm just seeing that this has a rip in it, which is unfortunate, but like I said, my daughter needs a new backpack. I can repair that pretty quick, pretty easily, I think. And I mean, how darling is that? I love Matilda Jane. I just think I it's it. so cute. This is the third pair of jeans that I bought at that sale. She gave me them all for $5 a piece. So this is another Can Can is the brand. And these are a button fly and these are a skinny jean, not those flared like the other ones, but they do have the blown out knees. They're all really small. These are size five. I'm not sure if I said, but I spent $106 at the yard sales and then $29 at the church sale. And so it was a total of $135. This is Lucky Brand and it is just a camo t-shirt. Okay, these I didn't look up and I have no idea if they're worth anything at all, but they're apple bottom jeans, but they are actually like jean shorts. I don't know if they were cut off or not, but I mean, they have this little apple thing and an apple on the bum. 
I really have no idea if they're worth anything, but I think they were like 50 cents or something. Another Lucky Brand shirt. This one is just like a blouse. Again, it's kind of crepe feeling, like a slub knit almost. Yeah, it's really cute. Actually, I might try that one on. Oh, I found a couple Harley Davidson items. Harley Davidson is kind of similar to Lucky Brand where it sells fairly quickly, but not for a lot of money. So this is Harley. I mean, like some Harley stuff can be worth a lot of money, but the stuff that I find is just not. This has a little graphic on the back, but it's just like a smaller sized uh, zip up hoodie. It's pretty lightweight. I mean, it says it's a large, but it looks pretty small to me. Maybe it's a woman's large, but it's raglan, which I wear raglan a lot. So I seem to be drawn to that. It is rather faded, but I still think I probably could sell it for about 15 to $20. Oh, these were kind of cool. These are American Eagle, but they're like a nylon, like hiking pant short. Oh, these were miss me jeans, but they're shorts. Bottoms are pretty blinged out with those. Those are wings, aren't they? Cool. This is another Harley shirt. I just thought this one was really cute. I rather like these different shirts, you know, not just a regular t-shirt. I find that they sell because they're just, you know, somebody who's maybe a little more fashionable but still into Harley might want a little scoopy neck shirt. I don't know. That's my theory, I guess. This is a Talbot's dress and I pick up Talbot's a lot. I don't know if I've actually sold it a lot, but this is kind of like a, I don't, it's not, I guess it's Jersey, but it's like a thicker weight Jersey knit. So it's a two X. I thought it was pretty cute. This line, this, um, it's not lining. It's like the facing and it. it keeps coming out, which is kind of annoying. Okay. So, I'm kind of excited and I'm hoping that this actually comps well, but this was only priced at 50 cents and I had just watched Ashley, the hustle at home mom, and she had mentioned this brand and I'd never heard of it before. And if I hadn't seen her video, I might not have even like looked this up, but it's E Shakti or Shakti E S H A K I. And it is a 2X, which is always good, I think, but it's like this little cap sleeve, a uh, little ruffle dress. It's quite cute dress, actually. But I'm hoping that it's worth some money because if you've ever watched her videos, she finds like crazy worth a lot of money stuff. So those are all the clothes I found at the sale, at the yard sales. I did... And only one pair of shoes. That's good. I didn't do too bad. But I did find some hats. This is like a vintage Orioles hat, right? That's an Oriole, right? So a vintage Orioles hat. I paid a dollar for that. This is a vintage Minnesota Vikings. This is a Chevrolet performance hat. Ohio State. This is Columbia. And this has a moose on it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I thought it was kind of fun and it has a moose. I really like selling hats because they're super easy for me to photograph. They're easy to list. They're easy to ship. And, you know, six of them fit in this much amount of space. Six pairs of jeans is not going to fit in this amount of space. So I really enjoy it. And they tend to sell fairly well for me. Um, I do have a lot of hats listed. Maybe I should do a sale on hats. So like I said, I went to these garage sales and then I headed to a church sale and this is what I found there. I did buy some shoes. <laughs> I just don't have much space for shoe storage, so that's why I don't buy many shoes, but these were priced at 75 cents. And I just thought they were really cute little um, sandals, bear traps. My daughter and I found some bear trap boots at the bins not that long ago and actually I'll link that video here if you want to check it out but I believe that they comped pretty well and so because these were 75 cents I didn't really pay that much attention I mean I didn't check comps if you don't know what I mean by comps uh, I go to eBay and you can check on any selling platform that you want but I check on eBay because that's what I primarily sell on 
and I just check how much things are listed for, how many items are listed, and then how many are sold and how much they actually sold for. So if, you know, there might be something that's listed for $60, but it's only actually selling for $20. So I just pay, try to pay attention to that as well as like the ratio of how many have sold versus how many are listed. So I'm not always great at checking comps, but it really is a valuable tool when you're trying to resell because you know, if something has a hundred items listed and only one sold, you don't really want to add to the hundred items <laughs> because it's not going to sell. The likelihood of it selling is not great. So, and then you're just holding on to an item for no reason, really. So I'm preaching to the choir here because <laughs> I'm preaching to myself is what I'm doing because I'm not great at checking comps and sometimes I buy things even if they're bad comps. I don't know. Anyway. I bought these shoes and then I also bought these boots I think these are new they have the box and these are cloud steppers by Clark's and I don't know if you can see that in there but I recently sold a pair of sandals that were cloud steppers by Clark's and they sold pretty quickly for like $35 so I'm hoping I just thought those were kind of cute and like I said, I'm not positive that they're brand new, but they look, I mean, they don't really look like they've been worn. I bought some thank you notes for myself because thank you notes can be expensive. And actually my husband uses them more than I do. I'm terrible at writing notes. And if you've ever given me something, please know that I really, really, really appreciate it. And I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I was terrible at writing notes. These were another pair of bear traps and you know, I've already said all that I have to say about the bear traps, but I thought these were very cute sandals. And again, they came in the box. I know coming in the box doesn't necessarily mean that they're new. And actually, you can see that these are dirty, that they have been worn. But like, you can't see, this is one of the kind, you know, there's like suede on them. And very often you see the toe prints in this kind of material on shoes and you can't see the toe prints on there. So, I mean, the bottom inside of that like the graphic is perfect so these were probably tried on actually there's something kind of funky on the strap it's sticky it kind of looks like maybe something just got spilled on them I can clean it up I did this again I found a pair of leggings that I don't know this brand copper but again it just felt like a higher quality legging. So again, I thought I would check it out. And if it's not worth anything, I have children who love leggings. I really like church sales. They tend to be so sweet there. And usually they're really good deals. Most of the things here were priced at like 50 cents and 25 cents. So these are champion, which again, doesn't sell for a lot of money, but these are like joggers and they're really nice. They just look to be in really good condition. These are Columbia fleece pants. Now you've noticed I pick up a lot of Columbia. I don't know that I've sold very much Columbia, but I like it. Um, it's a nice brand that I use for my family. It's an outdoor <laughs> brand. I will tell you that the odd things, I don't mean that they're odd. I just mean like you generally think of Columbia as like the fleece zip, zip up shirts or sweatshirts. I do anyway. But the things that are kind of different that you don't normally see, like I sold a maxi skirt, a Columbia maxi skirt. I sold it very quickly, twice. It got returned because it didn't fit the first person. And when I relisted it after I got it back, it sold almost immediately again. So I, that's why I was like, the hat was, I'm hoping, gonna be similar and fleece pants, I don't know. We'll see. Again, it was 50 cents. This was priced at a dollar and this is Additions by Chico's. Chico's similar to Talbot's. I pick it up a lot. I don't know that I actually sell it. I need to look into that, but I do, you know, do sell some of those things. This is just a black, it's kind of like that slinky material, like it's not gonna wrinkle. It was really good for traveling. Although Chico's does have like a traveler's line, and this obviously isn't that, but uh, just an open front cardigan pretty basic. This was priced at 25 cents, but this is a 
vintage little sleep shirt. I thought it was very cute. This is an Oklahoma Sooners hoodie. I have no idea. I just thought it was very cute. And I know sometimes those team shirts or university shirts that they sell pretty well. And this I just couldn't pass up because it is, it says it's brand new. There's no tags, but it was only $5 and it is a leather coat. The brand is Worthington, which is just like a department store. I think it's even Kohl's. This had a dollar on it and it is Adidas and it is a like raincoat uh, windbreaker thingamajig with a hood. It's very lightweight. All right, I don't know this. Oh no, it's Lane Bryant. Designs and Co. Lane Bryant, which makes me think it's older, but it is a wool vest. Screen, zip up. It is a 22-24. It looks kind of short. I wonder if it shrunk. It still has a lot of stretch in it, so I don't know. It was 25 cents. This is, I don't, sometimes I don't know what I, I, I just do things. I don't know. This says, nope, not today. And it's a Snoopy shirt. It looked, did not look like it had stains in it in the church, but now I'm looking that it looks like it does have stains down here. So we'll give it a soak and see what happens. It's not vintage or anything, but I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is pure Jill. This kind of falls in line with the Chico's Talbot situation where sometimes I just buy things. Uh, pure Jill is a J Jill line and this is not pure at all. It's cotton, acrylic, polyester, and spandex. Usually the Pure Jill stuff is like linen or cotton, just one item, one thing. Uh, the Love Linen line, I, from my understanding, is that that line does very well but you no know, it's just like a blue sweater thing these were priced at two dollars and it's body sculpt but as you can see they are new with tags and somewhere on there no you know what it's celebrity pink I didn't even notice that I think this was something else. Celebrity Pink, I believe, is just a Walmart brand, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they'll still sell. They're a size 13 crop, like little pants. <laughs> They're new with tags, so sometimes new with tags helps no matter what the brand is. Oh, these are silver jeans, and they were 25 cents. <laughs> silver jeans, uh, Suki is... The one I hear does well. However, I believe I have quite a few of them that have not sold. So, this is Zenergy by Chico's. And these are just a black pant. These are the ones that I was thinking. These were priced at, let's see, do I find the tag anywhere? This is 151, which I don't really know that brand. But they caught my attention because they had. There, it was new with tags. So anyway, they're just like a purple pull-on dress pant. They're skinny. And they're a size extra large. So they caught my attention. Oh, it says $4 actually. So apparently I paid $4 for these. Hmm, maybe. So they caught my attention because they had tags on them. And as I was looking at the tags, I noticed it says Stitch Fix on one of them. And I recently sold a Stitch Fix item for... A, like almost $40 I think I'm trying to remember it was a blazer and it was really cute but it sold really fast and I've heard that about other stitch fix items that they just sell fast because people find what they want on stitch fix and then they go to eBay to try and find it a little cheaper and there was another pair that was similar this is M O D L and similar it caught my attention because it had tags on it and then one of the tags said stitch fix stitch fix so this one is a 14 and these are like a burgundy red color and kind of a boot cut pant and they're i mean these are thick they feel nice 
Ah, oh, this was priced at 50 cents and I love this brand. It always sells very quickly for me. It's called Life is Good. And this one says close knit friend. Little play on words with the knitting. So this was priced at $2. I could not find a fabric tag in this, but I am, it has like a fur look to it, but it, I mean, it's not real fur, but it, um, here's the brand, Winnet of California. Kind of looks like a vintage tag to me, but anyway, it's this, um, poncho, shawl, poncho, is that what you call those? I just thought it was really cool. And for $2, Sometimes weird stuff like that. I don't mean weird. It's not weird. It's cool. It's just different than what I would wear. So sometimes things that are different <laughs> sell really well. And so I like to pick them up. And this was priced at a whole dollar. This is Talbot's again, but this is a trench coat. And trench coats are just one of those things that they are a classic and a basic. And almost everyone has one in their closet. And this one looked really nice and had everything, the belt and the buttons and all the things that you need to have. Wow. That was a lot. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for seeing what all I got. Let me know what you think might sell for the most and what your favorite item was. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing what I got at a church sale and some more yard sales, please give me a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe. If you haven't, you can do that right here. That really helps out my channel and helps my channel grow. I don't really understand how it does, but it does. And that's what they tell me. So if you would do that, I would appreciate it as my channel is you know, just a little baby channel right now. <laughs> you can check out another video right here. I make videos kind of about my reselling journey as I'm learning how to do this whole eBay thing and making money on the internet. Thanks again for hanging out and I'll see you soon.